Hey, YouTube, I'm reaching out to um, any private investigators or, you know, surveillance teams or pretty much anybody who has the means to go up against these gang-stalking motherfuckers. Um, if you're against it, if you're against them, um, you know, I got these motherfuckers following me around 24-7 on bikes, in cars, on foot. And at first it was like, how the fuck are all these motherfuckers following me and knowing where the fuck I am? And then I put it together after watching them text each other on their phones all day. Um, you know, the showing you your, making you see their iPhones and keeping one earbud in their ear, one earbud out, and they make sure everything's white, white iPhone, white earbuds, um, the dark sunglasses, pulling up on you like they're some type of agent from the Matrix and shit. Um, knowing my name, just coming out the blue, hey, calling me by my first name, people I've never seen before in my life. Um, yeah, man, if you're out there and you're against this, man, I welcome you to follow me around all day. I mean, if you want to make a documentary about these motherfuckers, man, I'm here, man, because these motherfuckers is flooding me. I mean, it's like I'm in a sea of these motherfuckers. It's like the Matrix is real. It's like I'm really in the motherfucking Matrix with these gang stalkers, man. So, um, you know, I don't know whether they're planning to kill me or set me up. Um, I have God in my life, so I'm not too worried about dying. I mean, I don't want to die, but... I mean, I, I'm not too much worried about that. I just don't want to be set up, thrown in jail for some bullshit I didn't do, or you know, you know, I don't, I don't want to live that type of life. Um, you know, that's they're sending people at me asking for drugs. They vary from the ages of around 15 all the way up to like 65, 70. Like this is crazy shit, man. Just imagine an old woman coming up to you, like 70 years old, damn near asking you if you got weed for sale. And and not just one. This is like fucking 15 in the last past month and a half or so, you know. And people coming up to you just that you never met before in your life calling you by your first name. Um, For instance, I'm walking down the street Two guys were working. One guy's working on a van. And it seems like the other guy's helping him. They're both parked, both white vehicles. And uh, one of the guys you've never seen before in your life, not even from the same side of the, the fence as you, as far as uh, community-wise, like... This is like some upper class motherfucker, and uh, he calls you by your first name and tells you to give him a hand with the truck. And I mean, it's to the point to where I'm rather take a hammer and bash one of their motherfucking heads in. But as I said, I don't want to be set up on this bullshit, and I think that's what they're doing is trying to set me up and send me to jail. For a long time, because the type of game that they're playing, um, I'm gonna be honest, man. It makes you want to kill one of the motherfuckers, man. Straight up, and I'm not trying to do it. I'm not trying to go out like that. Um, but like I said, it's to the point to where, you know, and. Trust me, the police are involved. So if anybody's out there being gang stalked, the police are involved too. I mean, you can make your complaints, but I don't think it's gonna help, man. It's just 
too many of it's not like it's one police officer involved. These motherfuckers got police, fucking firemen. Mel, for instance, I got mailmen passing me up every day, burning rubber and mail trucks. I know it's hard to believe, but um, this shit is is fucking real, man. And it's like I'm caught up in the matrix, and my last options are to kill one of the motherfuckers or commit suicide. And I'm not the suicidal type. I'm not the murdering type either. So. But, you know, I don't know, whatever happens in this shit, I'm not going to commit suicide. So, um, I mean, like, I'm just reaching out. Like I said, man, if, if there's any investigators or anybody out there willing to follow me around, um, I welcome you to do it, man, please. I mean, with or without my knowledge. Uh, I'm in the Sacramento area. I just want to expose these motherfuckers. Shit, maybe even sue their motherfucking asses. Sue them and give you all the money. Uh, I want to give a fuck, man. I just want this shit to stop. All right.